Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about a product that I came across on my internet travels that I really wanted to share with you guys and this is a uh, I think one of my first uh, product reviews that I've ever done uh, that is not a Volkswagen uh, part uh, so what you see before you is a retro classic Bluetooth speaker that I came across on my internet travels a couple weeks ago and it's called uh, it's by a company called Lofree and the item is called Poison uh, EP203 wireless speaker. It's a retro speaker. So if you do a Google search for vintage retro Bluetooth speaker, you'll probably see this come up in the list. And there's many, many speakers out there. Uh, but this was something that really fit the bug look or any sort of vintage car from, say, the 50s. Uh, I mean, the grill on this speaker is very reminiscent of the oval window dashboard for a Beetle. Uh, back in the 50s from 53 to 57 so I saw that and I'm like oh my god that looks awesome I mean that would fit perfect and what's great about these Bluetooth speakers today is that there's no wires right we don't have to mount a, a later radio in our dash uh, and cut the dash for these you know new radios to fit um, you know who's playing tape anymore who's playing CD anymore uh, these these radios just do not fit you know the look and feel of our vintage cars and if you want a stock look uh, I would suggest you know like what I like to do is put the stock radio in the dash even if it doesn't work or you tried to get it to work and you can't get it to work or you don't have the money to get it fixed put the stock radio in the dash leave it in there for show purposes just to make it correct that's what I like to do and then if I want to listen to tunes those old radios in general I'm not going to put out the best sound so you know I'll be honest I mean this Bluetooth speaker this little sucker, I mean, this is truly amazing. This little kicker back here, this boomer here is amazing. The sound that comes out of this is better than any retro or, or any better than any stock radio that I'm going to get, you know, from you know, the 50s or the 60s that I put into my car. Uh, so I came across this thing online. It's 100 bucks, $100 more or less. You might find it for 110 or maybe a little less on eBay or something. I think I found it for $99. Um, it was like ten dollars to ship or something like that. Um, it does come internationally, and uh, they do have various colors. They have blue, red, uh, green. I wish they had some other colors like black, which is a little more, you know, universal. But that's why I got the white, so I can transfer it between my cars uh, that I have. Uh, but just truly amazing, guys. If you if you want to do something, you want to add some sound to your your vintage ride. I'm not just saying Volkswagens, but any sort of classic car out there. Uh, this low free speaker is pretty damn cool, I gotta say. I'm not a sound connoisseur. I am not somebody that, uh, you know, really is, a, is, is an expert on sound. But uh, I gotta say, that the, little, the sound that comes out of this little guy is truly amazing. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to hook up my microphone so you guys can hear uh, the, the kind of sound that comes out of this thing. And uh, I'll play some music for you. But what's pretty cool is, you know, you got some dials up here. That's the other thing, it's dialed. You could also get FM radio on this, which is pretty cool. Uh, so there's a, you got some, you got a volume, two volume buttons here, a plus and a minus. And then you have your power button here, uh, your Bluetooth settings here to try to track or, or find your Bluetooth item, uh, like your cell phone or something like that. Um, I mean, in today's day, you put music to your phone. I mean, I have hundreds of songs on my phone. I got a Google Pixel 2 and it just plays and plays and plays. And if you don't have songs on your phone, you can always download apps like iHeartRadio or Pandora, uh, Spotify, things like that, and play Bluetooth. So you can get practically any channel or any AM. If you want to listen to AM, I mean, a lot of AM channels are on uh, iHeartRadio. So if you want to go old school like that even. Um, so just truly amazing, and I, I really, really love it. And I, I fit this on my parcel shelf underneath my dashboard. It fits perfect there. And I did have another uh, uh, Bluetooth speaker by JBL. It was one of those round speakers that they had. I bought it a few years ago for about $125, I think, from uh, PC Richards. The only downside to that speaker is that every time I you know, was accelerating or braking, the speaker rolled. Um, so you, know, you could always stuff it in your glove box as well. So that's what's nice about this speaker too. It's small enough where it can fit into an oval, a Beetle uh, glove box door. You know, uh, just open the door and, and pop it in there, and 
that's it lock it up and you're, and you're good to go so that's what's nice about these I just love it that there's no wires anymore you don't need to be mounting speakers on your door panels which is god-awful um, or running speakers to the back behind your back seat or under your carpet and things like that so pretty cool guys and uh, I really uh, I really approve of it the only couple down things I downsides I have to it is um it's the FM when I tried listening to the radio it's not the greatest I mean uh, I, maybe I don't, I'm not in a good area for reception but when I did turn it on and you turn the dial uh, reception was not the greatest but I really again I don't listen to FM I really pretty much got this for uh, my uh, my Bluetooth uh, uh, music uh, the other downside is uh, it does have six hours of battery life which isn't bad uh, my JBL speaker had 12 hours of battery life uh, which I thought was really really awesome so I mean you can go on road trips now, now speaking of you know the, the time it takes to to listen six hours on an optimal setting I'm, I'm thinking so if you're if you got the volume all the way up yeah it's gonna eat the it's gonna eat away at the battery life but if you have it at a moderate setting say midway or three quarters of the way it'll probably get close to six hours uh, so my JBL did last a lot longer than this little guy but uh, for for doing you know short road trips here and there this this thing's perfect um, really really cool so what you got to do is to turn it on you basically got to hold this button they tell you to hold it for three seconds I found four seconds is probably the best uh, three seconds and I had to do it a bunch of times to finally kick in uh, but just hold this for four seconds and you'll hear Now the speaker just pretty much performs music or audio. It does not really work with your phone. Uh, if, I, if you get a call that comes in, uh, like some Bluetooth speakers, it will work as the speaker as well for your uh, for your phone conversation. This does not do that, uh, which I kind of like. Um, I was always getting, I never liked the way it worked with some of the speakers, and the quality wasn't always the, that great. But it will give you notifications if you got a text, if you have a, someone left a message, or something like that. It'll do a chime, like you just heard. Uh, but uh, yeah other than that I mean that's one of the gripes uh, some people might have but it, it really doesn't bother me um, you also have different lights this thing lights up here this little silver doohickey right here looks like a little antenna um, that lights up I think even when you change the mode so if I if I press this button FM mode. that just turned it to the radio mode and then now you hear static and hit it again AUX mode. and that's the auxiliary mode and it's in the back and then the light changes up here so hit it again Bluetooth mode. and there's Bluetooth and it goes back to blue color here that is uh, a product review guys um, I'm gonna have a link down below in the video description where you guys can purchase this I think it's perfect for a Volkswagen or perfect for any sort of vintage car from say the 50s uh, even the 60s for that matter um, it just reminds me of old toasters, old refrigerator look. Um, really, really cool, and uh, I, I definitely approve of this. You know, a couple little setbacks, like I said, maybe battery life is not the longest, um, but the sound is spectacular. And again, no wires, no hacking up the dash. It's, it's right there in front of you. So, all right, so let me uh, change my microphone over. I'm going to play some music for you, and you see what you think. Okay, so you get the general idea of the performance of the speaker. I know it's not going to be completely accurate with my shotgun mic next to the speaker, but I maybe had the volume up halfway for that. Um, and it was already pretty much booming here in my shop. Uh, I had this the other uh, day in my convertible. I was going to a show with the top back, driving down the highway, 50, 60 miles an hour, and no problem hearing this speaker. Like I said, I mounted underneath my dashboard on, on my parcel shelf. You can find some other ways to put it uh, elsewhere in the car if you don't have a parcel shelf. Um, and that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy this uh, video. And if you guys uh, have any questions whatsoever, chris at classicvwbugs.com 
or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com, and uh, go check it out. All right, guys, take care. Um.